Hindustan Aeronautics is planning to begin negotiations with interested private sector companies for the manufacturing of AMCA fifth generation fighter jets under the special purpose vehicle route in a production line in Tamil Nadu's Coimbatore district. As the AMCA project is all set to get clearance from Cabinet Committee on Security very soon. Latest reports indicate that the Indian Navy is also exploring manufacturing of the twin-engine deck-based fighter under the special purpose vehicle route similar to the AMCA program, that will ease out production issues and negate any possible delays. Hindustan Aeronautics will manufacture four initial prototypes of the TED-BF for flight trials, while the Navy has assured to order 45 units initially, that will expand to 100 units when it enters production. Lockheed Martin has begun deliveries of the latest F-16 Block 70 aircraft to Bahrain, and Lockheed has claimed that the new variant will provide fifth-generation capabilities to the Royal Bahrain Air Force. Lockheed Martin has pitched for local production of F-21 aircraft with APG-83 radar to India under its MRFA program, and Lockheed has said that the Indian F-21 fleet can operate until 2060 and beyond, as new delivery to other customers are a test of its commitment to keep the fleet ready for the next 40 years. Lockheed Martin has offered to relocate its F-21 production line to India, and become the sole manufacturer of the aircraft. The DRDO has demonstrated the final deliverable configuration of the manned portable anti-tank guided missile last year, and is working to carry out further refinement in the system to make it lighter, that currently weighs 14.5 kg, out of which its command launch unit weighs 14.25 kg, which is still lighter than the 15 kg American Javelin and the French Acheron MP. The DRDO is working to reduce 10 to 20% weight to make it much more compact and improve mobility for soldiers, but it will be ready in the next 2 to 3 years, and it is not clear if the weight reduction was requested by the Indian Army, or it was decided by the DRDO. After the recent crash of a cheetah helicopter in the northeastern sector, retired army officers from the Army Aviation Corps have demanded that the Ministry of Defense to come clean on the schedule of delivery of light utility helicopters. They also said, the ministry needs to ensure faster production and delivery, even if this involves the setting up of more assembly lines, for replacing the aging fleet of 250 helicopters, as their airframes are weak and their avionics are outdated. At the Desert Flag 2023 multilateral air exercise in United Arab Emirates, the Korean Air Force interacted with the members of the Indian Air Force, and the visitors were also given an overview of the Tejas supersonic combat aircraft. This is for the first time, the Indian Air Force participated with five Tejas aircraft in an international flying exercise outside India. The Indian Army will hold a nine-day mega-military exercise with militaries of over 20 African countries from 21st March, with an aim to significantly boost defense cooperation. The Indian Army chief will also host an Indo-Africa chief's conclave on 28th March, and an exhibition of indigenously developed military platforms will be organized on 29th March by the Indian industry, to showcase the country's defense manufacturing capabilities to the visiting military delegation from 22 countries. Cochin Shipyard Limited has received a 550 crore rupees order from Netherlands-based Sam Skip Group, for designing and building two zero-emission feeder container vessels, with an option to order two more vessels. The vessels are intended to serve the European market, and in zero-emission mode, each vessel is expected to achieve around 25,000 tons of CO2 reduction per year.